Can I get closer to him? No, no, no. Sir, no? Yes, you know, presentation, what's your name? A little bit presentation about you. Okay. Then you start. Yes, you can start. Yes. Uh, your presentation about yourself. Of myself, okay. Uh, my name is uh, <coughs> Frederick Jenny. I'm from France. Uh, I'm an economist by training. I studied in the US and I studied in France. I got a PhD at Harvard and then uh, uh, a doctorate in France in economics. And I became interested in issues of how markets function and the regulation of markets and competition law, competition regulation. And I then spent uh, quite a few years uh, both teaching but also being an official of the uh, competition authority in France. And then after this, I became a, ju a chief justice on, a justice on the French Supreme Court for eight years. But in the meanwhile, I have been the chair of the OECD Competition Committee, which is the gathering of all the competition authorities of all the OECD countries. And before that, I was the chair of the WTO Working Group on Trade and Competition, which was the part of the WTO which was dealing with competition and trade issues. Right? Too long, or? Yeah, okay, uh, but uh, I'm sorry, look at me, okay? Yeah, okay, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry,
integration process, yes? And if, of course we have plus and minus. And what is it about not a good opportunity, but a little bit uh, minus of this? Uh, and also you are recommended to organize this forum and also uh, to find this uh, solution. You are recommended. My recommendations yes. on yes. what could help Kazakhstan yes. develop. Okay. Yeah. That it? Okay. Um, I think that uh, when one thinks about the future of Kazakhstan, uh, which will have to undergo reforms like uh, all transition economies, I mean, they always uh, have to move from a system to another system, which is not so easily done. Uh, we we have learned quite a bit, even from the forum uh, yesterday, but we know quite a bit. Uh, on the one hand, it's quite important to uh, give attention to the importance of how markets can help uh, drive the allocation of resources and therefore make the economy more productive and more dynamic. So that's one thing. But having said this, to get there, when one comes from an economy where there are a lot of state-owned enterprises, a lot of monopolies, a lot of regulations, that requires a change in the governance, the general governance of the economy. Okay? Uh, it's not just saying, oh, oh, tomorrow we've got markets and everything's going to be fine. You have to accompany the transition, make sure that people who are going to be displaced will find new jobs, uh, make sure that there are some areas where you still need some protection, whereas other areas you can open to competition and to international competition. So I think that the management of the transition is going to be quite important. Uh, also, you want to make sure that you have a good educational system so that uh, young people will be able to grab the value-added jobs which are going to be the most useful for the country. Uh, so I think the most important issue is to have a general plan, an integrated plan of how to move to a market economy and to a dynamic economy, including many different dimensions. The legal dimension, the international trade dimension, the governance dimension, the uh, market dim dimension. So, question. Do you visit uh, next year this forum in Astana? Next year, do you visit? Well, if I'm invited to come, I'll be very happy to come because I thought it was a very, very good experience uh, and I learned a lot myself. I, I, I do think that um, the crisis came, uh, if we go back to the U.S. 2008 uh, when there was the, uh, uh, the banking uh, collapse uh, and the uh, lending market for mortgages uh, collapse. Uh, I think that the origin of this was a, a difficulty in the sense that uh, there was not the right kind of regulation of those markets, okay? Uh, in a sense, there had been too much deregulation, not enough specific regulation, which was required for that. So I think it was the mismanagement of the complexity of those economic issues, which required both to promote competition, but at the same time, where competition could make mistakes, to have some kind of control over competition. So I think that thinking about the different aspects 
of economic analysis uh, with the different policies that are complementary and should be used together, this is probably the best way to avoid crisis. Uh, as well as the best way to develop. But if you are smart enough to understand that exactly what is the right combination of policies that you need, then presumably you're going to avoid some of the crisis that you would have if you forget something. If you forget the poor, if you forget the middle class, if you forget uh, the fact that there might be a systemic issue, if you forget the fact that there might be externalities. So it's more having an overall plan rather than being dogmatic in one way. You, know. you don't want to say, like a little bit in the 1990s, for example, in, in the Western countries, oh, competition is everything. Yeah. No, competition is tremendously useful, but it's part of a number of things. And you must not forget about the other things. And some of the things may limit competition occasionally because for good reasons. Okay. So not to think about each problem individually, but to think about their complementarities. As you know, after this forum uh, by our president, Mr. Nazarbayev, he initiated Energy Global to also have some, uh, to decide and have a little bit of discussion about anti-crisis program. And do you think that uh, these ideas also will continue in a uh, G-Global international arena and uh, which, uh, which is uh, related on this? And as you know, uh, every state has uh, uh, own opinion and own history and also uh, some uh, government and uh, integration process also uh, help it. But what do you think about in global what the main country said about this and how to decide this anti-crisis program? So uh, what do I have to say about in the, global the, global. Global. Uh, the, the impact of the global yes. economy? On, yeah. well, um, I think the impact of the global economy has, uh, should be uh, decomposed into several sub-impacts. Uh, one positive impact is that it helps countries trade and therefore develop and therefore get jobs and therefore increase their productivity, there are more competition, all this is good. Okay, that's one thing. There's a second dimension of globalization, which is maybe less good, uh, which is the fact that when you trade a lot, when you have a lot of foreign investment, when you have a lot of transnational firms, each country is less in charge or less able to monitor 